This is what the 426 Hemi was all about. Going to the NASCAR track on a Sunday afternoon and dominating racing. Let's talk a bit about the, the, the 69 Dodge Daytona Charger, which I obviously think was probably the finest race machine that's ever been on a racetrack. Some people might say differently today, but if you were to take this car out on the track today, put it up against the, the cars that are running, you, maybe you wouldn't have the safety stuff, but I assure you one thing, you've got more speed and stability than what they have. It's actually the fourth generation Charger to, to race. You had the 66, 67 with a fastback. Uh, the cars really weren't that stable. They had the horsepower with the Hemi, but they just couldn't stay on the track. So then you went to the 68 and 9 Charger, and that had a problem because you had a, a lot of turbulence in the back window because of a recessed back window that came in the Charger, and you also had the grill that was uh, uh, recessed. And so the two together didn't let the 68-69 race either, so Chrysler jumped right in and said, okay, we're going to do a, a new version called the 500. 500 was more competitive. Why? Because they flushed the grill out and they put a fastback back into the to the rear uh, window area. Car went faster, but the Torino Talladega and the Spalter 2 was already at their game and they were they were winning and it just couldn't quite get the job done. Chrysler says we're going all out against a lot of people's uh, uh, better uh, uh, whatever you call it, leadership up there. They didn't think this thing would ever work. Well, they did. So what they did, they took the Charger 500, they bolted a nose on it that lowered, as you can tell, if you take a look at how low this is, this thing was on the ground. So as the air began flowing over it, it gave you tremendous down pressure on the front. So then they decided to put a wing on the rear, and the wing had quite a, a stability effect. And uh, we'll talk about that in just a, a few minutes. You had these over the these basically they're like ventilation uh, pieces but they, they allowed the heat to get out of the brakes but another thing they did especially on the right side of the track when you're going around at 200 miles an hour this side wants to go down so it gave more wheel clearance up in here so it was a way to, to kind of uh, gain some wheel clearance without it looking like it's coming out the top of the car the rake of the car is definitely down in other words from here to here and from there to there on that car, this has been lowered. Now, that was cheating. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Uh, but this was just before the body temperature day. So believe me, Harry Hyde would never allow a street Dodge Daytona Charger to sit anywhere close to his race car. So, because he was good at this sort of stuff. When you get to the wing, believe me, the wing worked. And it really started working anything above 120, 130 miles an hour, because you've got this straight up and down vertical stabilizer and as you reach speeds of 185 200 miles an hour you hardly ever saw a Dodge Daytona or Plymouth Superbird for that matter go sideways without it just straightening itself right up because when the wind starts hitting this at that kind of speed it just puts your rear end right back on track what a lot of people don't know about the, the, the horizontal part of the wing is that the engineers were actually from the Huntsville Space Center here in Alabama and this is an, a turned over inverted aircraft wing. If you look at the curvature under the bottom, you'll see that that's where the curve is. If it was on the other way, if an aircraft wing, it would lift and fly. But when you put it on the inside and down, guess what it done to the rear of this car? Plus you could adjust it here and you could kick this wing even up and down even more. But you had tremendous ground, uh, ground uh, effects on the front with all the down pressure you needed on a car to race and then you could make the rear end have the same down force. So what you had with the Charger Daytona was absolutely one of the finest race machines that's ever built. Well, unfortunately, the Superbird come along the next year and between the two of them, they only had a one year run. They, they won too much, they were ahead of their time, they were way too fast and he outlawed them. That was the end of the wing car. Yard.